very good evening my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking so it's the time that we should make a review about our forex signals for the past week and thankfully again and again we are very proud and happy uh, about our results in the premium group as we can see friday the results were fabulous and really great and very profitable and i'm sure the clients were very happy because we were able to deliver to them nearly to 200 pips of profit in just one single day i mean that's really outstanding and that's amazing and i just wanted to mention something about thursday thursday the market suddenly went against our directions and sadly we had to close few pips or sorry few trades in a small losses but please look at the losses it was very tiny 24 pips 14 19 and i mean that's really so small amount that not even worth to mention sadly it has triggered some i would like to say about um eight to ten members i think they have been triggered and they got uh, raged about these results and they didn't like it i don't know for any reason but let me just compare extreme trader service with another signal provider so this is a signal provider results that i have got from the internet uh they are actually one famous group but however let me show you the losses the losses are insane in my opinion i would never never in my group let any signal hit the stop loss with this much of amount of 80 pips or 60 pips or again here 80 pips i mean that's insane in extreme trader we should never ever let this to happen what we are doing is actually guys we are just controlling the the funds of your uh, controlling your funds or managing your funds and make sure it won't reach the stop loss to the maximum that that's why we are sometimes closing these trades in very small losses but thankfully in the end we are able to recover with big profits and i'm very proud of angela's work really she's now stronger uh, than before and even when she sees these negative messages she's still continuing to send these signals i mean these signals of friday that's her reply to the messages she's telling them let me show you what I can do. And really Angela did. And she has shown them what she can do with her Forex knowledge. And I'm very proud of her work. So if you wish to join Extreme Trader Forex Signals Group, please contact our support. You can find their contact details in the description below this video. Contact them today and hopefully we will see you there. So now is the time to look at the market and let's see what are the opportunities that actually are waiting for us on this upcoming week. So of course, as usual, we will start with the euro UST. now let me show you something interesting for the euro UST. if you remember my friends this is the same support trend line that i have drawn in the last weekly analysis video if not also the midweek analysis video and actually the market has reversed exactly on the other edge of the safe zone where i have mentioned that this can be actually our safe zone However, we can see that the market has reversed exactly on that point. And remarkable is that strong bullish engulfing candle that has appeared after hitting that support trend line. Indicates that the Euro UST is now going to be in a bullish uh, for this week. And we can expect from the Euro UST to continue the rise until it hit the strong resistance level on 1.21603. So now it's a matter of where we can actually start buying the euro UST. Now remember, I'm on the daily candles. So let's switch to the four hour time frame. And of course, on the four hour time frame, we can notice that the euro UST is right now facing a previous support level on 1.20615. It's highly expected that the euro UST uh, might actually reverse, making a pullback right here hitting the strong or not a strong hitting the previous support level on 1.20103 and after that it's going to continue the rise um it's worth actually to mention that the very same level of that previous support level was actually a strong key resistance level in the past on the same level that's why i'm expecting from the euro usd to actually uh, co continue the reversal right like that or sorry the pullback and after that is going to be valid for the buy that being said euro usd should be really good for the buy um at the level 1.20103 and if i'm not mistaken the safe zone should be right here just at the bottom level of the support which is about 55 pips which is really fair enough just like that and the target as i said before is going to be the strong resistance right here on 21.21519 that's going to be our tech profit level, uh, 1.21520, I would say. 
there goes your signal for the euro usd and i really hope it's gonna work very well for us and bring us lots of profits now looking at the pound usd the pound usd actually has shown a very strong bullish uh, momentum recently and as we can see by looking at the week oh, sorry at the daily candles the daily chart is showing a very strong bullish uh, bullish uh, momentum Th therefore if we draw here a support trend line as well we can see that the pair has been respecting the support trend line for quite a long time and seems like it's gonna eventually gonna be able to break out from that resistance trend line right here let me just show you exactly like that it has already actually made the bullish breakout from that resistance trend line and therefore we can expect right now from uh the pound usd to make a small pullback after hitting the resistance on 1.37383 to make just a small pullback and then it's going to continue the rise it doesn't seem to be able to go down at this moment and therefore we have to go back to the four hour time frame and just identify where we can start again buying the pair now as we can see as i said before we are now facing the strong resistance right here right here uh, exactly I, I would say right here exactly at 1.37415 sorry 51 now we can expect from the pound usd to actually make a reversal or sorry a pullback and we need to look for the strong support and resistance levels now if we look at this level here on 1.37033 we can notice first of all it was a strong key resistance in the past as well and it was also a support right here and right here and not to mention of course it was a resistance right here as well this is going to be actually a very good le level to start buying the pair not to mention of course also that we are having right here a resistance trend line just like that exactly and the pair most likely after uh, reversing from that resistance trend line, sorry from that resistance is gonna actually fall to retest the broken uh, resistance trend line and also is gonna respect that previous support right here and right here that's gonna be actually our golden point to start buying the pound usd so we have to wait for the pair to fall for another uh, 38 pips i would say and after that we can start buying it that being said uh, pound usd is good for the buy at 1.37033 and of course for the safe zone it should be ranging just like a little bit right here below that support level if the pair actually gonna continue the fall and therefore uh the safe zone should be ranging for about 54 pips which is really fair enough exactly like that now to the, to the target let's go to the daily candles and let's just look at the previous chart so if we look at the chart right here if we focus right here uh, we can notice that the nearest support is actually right here or sorry the previous resistance right here exactly now you might be wondering what is Salah looking at actually I'm looking here let me show you exactly this little guy right here that is for me the nearest resistance let me just zoom in so I can, so I can show it to you look at that uh, let's go to the four hour time frame and I just wanted to show it to you we need to scroll for quite a long time I think um, we need to scroll for okay do you see it guys it's right here okay i think you guys have seen it it's right here exactly right here this is the resistance i'm talking about this is going to be our uh, target from this trade so therefore we are looking for approximately 120 pips profit from this trade so therefore that's going to be our target right here take profit level is going to be 1.38229 uh, Hopefully also it will work very very well for us and bring us lots of profits. Now looking at the AUD USD. Now for the AUD USD as well, we can see that right here on the daily candles, the market has shown here a strong bullish engulfing candle indicating a continuation in the growth. And in my opinion, the AUD USD is not going to stop rising until it hit that uh, hit that also resistance level right here on 0 0.77967. So we are still looking for more, uh, or sorry, for uh, about 120 pips more that we can still make. Now, if we look at the four hour time frame, we can notice as well that the AUD USD is facing a, a resistance right here at 0 0.76970. It's expected also from the AUD USD to make a small pullback right here. And as we can see on the left, we are having right here also resist uh, support as well. That was a key support level. 
So most likely what will gonna happen is that support key is gonna be actually being respected again and it's gonna keep its position and after that the pair is gonna continue the rise. Not to mention of course also that we have here uh, a resistance trend line that have been has been breaking out from as we can see right here. Just like that, exactly. So this resistance trend line as we can see the bullish breakout is happening and therefore if the market can actually uh, continue the rise um, it's gonna actually hit this resistance uh, level and after that it's gonna continue the fall and then that previous resistance trend line is gonna be a support trend line and it's gonna actually face a strong resist uh, a strong support zone right here and all of that actually is gonna help or support the uh, pair or the currency to continue the rise that's why this support zone right here is going to be our golden zone to start buying the AUD USD at the same level uh, that level I have given you to start buying the AUD USD is going to be the lowest level however if you if you wish to start buying the AUD USD uh, sooner than that then you can actually proceed to However, that's going to be actually the lowest level of the support zone. That's why I'm selecting it to be the level to start buying. Not to mention, of course, it was right here, a previous resistance. Most likely, this is the, where the level is going to continue the fall to. After that, it's going to be valid for the buy. Yes, I know I'm talking too much, but I'm, I just want to make sure that the point is clear and everyone knows the reason behind my decision to send this analysis. So AUDUST is going to be good for the buy at 0 0.76486 and the target as I said before is going to be right here take profit is going to be 0 0.77967 so as I said before we are looking for approximately I think 140 pips 159 pips of profit and of course the safe zone should be ranging just right here at the lowest level of the nearest support as well because there is a chance that the pair must may be falling to that level so therefore uh, we can just increase it a little bit more just like that so the safe zone should be ranging for about 52 pips of um in ranging again i don't want to say in loss it's just going to be ranging in the safe zone for about 52 pips before going to be finally be in profit now looking at the usd cad the usd cad actually is facing a very strong resistance level as we can see right here uh, that's a very strong resistance level and the pair hasn't been able to break out from that level since december 2nd so therefore the pair has actually made a final a final attempt to actually break out from that support level uh, sorry from that resistance level however by the weakness of the usd dollar it doesn't seem to be, to be able to happen right now and the, uh, the usd cat seems like it's going to continue the fall however the usd cat is also facing a support zone right here as you can see that's a support zone right here and it was also a strong resistance in the past so most likely it will gamble. we can expect actually from the usd cad to reverse or making a pullback after hitting that support zone and just rise a little bit more to continue the rise to hit the, the previous resistance the previous key resistance level on 1.27985 after that the pair should be good for the short and if the short is going to be valid then we are looking to big to big score actually because we are looking for uh, the usd cad to continue the fall all the way until it hit the support level at 1.26155 so we are looking for approximately uh, 200 pips of profit there is really good chance that we can actually make them that being said uh, usd cad should be good for the short sell usd cad at 1.27985 and the safe zone should be ranging just right here above that resistance level sorry just like that exactly so it should be ranging for about 55 pips which is really fair enough and the take profit level um, is going to be right here this support level right here however we can start actually or if we see the candle has reaches our take profit level and we see here a bearish breakout candle then please keep the trade running until it hit the support level at 1.26165 now of course it's worth to mention all of these signals that i'm talking about please don't don't start shorting or buying until you see a price action indicating that the order is valid for example <clears throat> what if you see the market reaches this level right here 
and the, and the candle closes as a strong bullish candle then of course don't active this signal don't trigger it don't start shorting just wait to see a valid price action just wait to see any sign such as a pin bar or a first hammer or a doji or any candle anything indicating that the market is not able to continue the rising guys this is serious business we are not playing here this is actually serious business and we have to be very careful when we are trading this market so please again be extra wise when you are opening any of these signals or trades and just wait for the valid price action before you start shorting or, or buying so um the take profit level for the usd cad is gonna be 1.26 eight six eight sorry that was a little bit confusing so we are looking for approximately um 111 pips of profit hopefully also we will make them and hopefully it's gonna be a very good signal now looking at the usd jpy if i'm not mistaken let me check something hold on yep indeed i was right actually i checked my last weekly analysis and i mentioned that this is exactly the level where we can start shorting the USD JPY. So, in other words, the signal from the last week of the go, uh, USD did I say gold? Sorry, I meant USD JPY. Um, the signal of uh, the USD JPY is already triggered and right now is going in the profit. I don't know if you guys have taken it, but however, right now it's going in 28 pips because exactly this is the level where I have mentioned that we can start shorting the USD JPY. And of course, the signal is still valid. So let me just rewrite it again right here. Uh, USD JPY is good for the short at 105.661. And if in case, guys, you have taken this signal, the target is going to be right here, the previous uh, resistance level at 104. So in other words, we are just um, um, resending this signal. I mean, there is nothing I can do, nothing else I can do because the signal is valid and still going on in the profit. So therefore, uh, this is exactly the signal for the USD JPY. And if I'm not mistaken, the safe zone for this signal should be just a little bit right here above that resistance level. Uh, I think that's a little bit too far. So it should be about, yeah, that should be fine. About 50 or 48 pips only exactly just like that so as i said the signal is valid and hopefully anyone is taking the signal uh, i'm gonna be really happy reading your comment that you are in this trade and you are so far making profit from this signal now looking at the ustchf ustchf seems like it's gonna continue the fall as we can see the market has shown here a strong engulfing bearish candle and seems like that support level is now being retested and eventually gonna continue the fall that being said the market might seems seems like it's gonna continue the fall until it hit the previous resistance right here on uh, 0 0.89217 so let's go to the four hour time frame on the four hour time frame, we are actually facing right here another support level, just like that. So therefore, the UCCH shift should be really good to start shorting again, just few pips away. Just like right here, exactly. So we have to wait for the pair to rise for another 14 pips before it's gonna be valid for the short again. So UCCH shift is gonna be good for the short as 0 0.90030. I just don't like to write 29 and the safe zone should be ranging a little bit above that resistance right here so it's gonna be about 51 pips which is really fair enough just like that and the target as i said before is gonna be right here the previous resistance level at um the tech profit level is gonna be 0 0.89217 hopefully also it will work very well for us and bring us lots of profits now of course let's check the gold now the gold actually as we can see right here has made a, rever a, bearish rev uh, sorry, a bullish reversal right here from that support level on 1791. Um, the gold seemed like it actually made the break out from the level 1800 but however immediately the gold has made a comeback and immediately reversed up and closed the week above 1800 uh, closing the week on 1805.94. Now in my opinion we are having right here a, uh, a resistance, sorry, a support trend line. And it seems like the gold is on its way to retest that broken support trend line to become a new resistance trend line. However, um, 
I really don't think this is gonna happen right away. I think the gold is gonna be ranging for quite some time because actually the gold also is gonna face a strong support level on 1823. So before the gold gonna be able to continue the rise, it's gonna actually range for quite some time before finally gonna be able to rise. And after that, it's gonna hit 1856. That's gonna be actually our target. So what we are looking this week for is to actually buying the gold if i'm not mistaken and i hope i'm right actually the gold is really hard to analysis this week and therefore please be extra careful if you are gonna open any um buy options for the gold and expect to close the trade right here let me actually change this one here uh the deal should be expired exactly right here at that strong uh, resistance level right here and it was strong ski support level right here as well so i believe if we started buying the gold right here uh, depending on that strong key support level on 1805 um, 1 sorry actually uh, i made a mistake before when i said the gold has uh, closed on 1805 no it has closed closed actually on 1813 uh, Point sixty-eight, uh, 1,805 is actually going to be the level where we're actually going to start buying the gold. And hopefully the gold is going to continue to rise until it hit that previous uh, support trend line and is going to become a new resistance trend line. After that, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, and if everything went well, the gold should be good for the short right after that level. But so far, since we're analyzing on the daily candle, I think the gold is going to be valid for the buy. Now, going back to the four hour time frame, as we can see right here, this is the support level, as I said before, on 1805. And therefore, this is exactly um, where we are going to start buying the gold 1805.94. And the target, as I said before, is going to be right here. Um, right here take profit level 1848.87 i'm expecting from the gold to continue to rise a little bit more to hit the strong key resistance level or the peak of the resistance at uh, 1817 but eventually after all i don't think the gold is going to continue to rise it's going to be rising for short term for short term only and just after that it's going to be valid for the short so please be extra careful my friends and do not open the trade immediately wait for a price action indicating that this signal is valid before you decide that you should you can actually open the buy order so of course this is going to be the safe zone just like like that and if in case this signal was valid then we are looking for a big score actually we're looking for a jackpot to make about 417 pips hopefully gonna be really good profit so there goes your signals for this week and guys please be extra careful careful as i said before and uh, do not again i'm telling you do not open any positions until you see a price action confirming your order and after that you can proceed with the order however do not open the trade immediately once the market touches the level that i have mentioned because of course anything can happen in this world uh, by after releasing this video anything can happen any announcement any incident any release from any one of the of the leaders of the world can actually change the whole game can change the whole uh, price of the of the gold can change the whole direction of the usd dollar so please guys be extra careful this is only technical analysis it's not fundamental analysis it's somehow based on the fundamentals but fundamentals um gonna be updated uh, sooner or later so please guys be extra careful and again be wise when you are managing your funds in the end i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching